Gluten sensitivity uh, itself, not celiac disease, has been shown at times to be exclusively neurological disease. And this is a common trend we're seeing in the neurology literature uh, because we know that these inflammatory reactions are, are really, um, really significant. And uh, some people really refer to gluten as more of a neurological disease than a gastrointestinal disease. Now, this is also another key concept here. Uh, patients with an enteropathy, enteropathy means inflammation in the intestinal tract, represent only a third of patients with neurological manifestations uh, and gluten sensitivity. So about two thirds of people that actually have antibodies to gluten, have reactions to gluten, actually have brain symptoms. So these are the people that eat gluten and they just can't think, they can't focus, they can't concentrate. And they may not have severe leaky gut symptoms and bloating and distension and any, any type of gastrointestinal complaints at all. For, these, uh, for the majority of people that really react to gluten, the impact is really on the brain and not as much on the gut. So two third of the reactions to gluten immune responses are really brain-based, not really gastrointestinal based. Um, and then this is another paper that was published. This is more specific to celiac disease, which is a more severe form of gluten sensitivity. And they put on celiac disease can sometimes present in the guise of neurological disorders, which make really improve when a gluten-free diet is started properly. So many types of neurological diseases like MS or weird demyelinating disease or unknown neuropathies, they call them like idiopathic neuropathies, many times are related to gluten sensitivity or celiac disease. And this is what these reviewers in this research paper published mentioned, and that's for sure a real clinical scenario. Um, and that is typically overlooked. So this is a slide that I made for a postgraduate course, but let me just sh show you the key concepts here. There's a lot of neurological conditions here. And this was, a, this was a graph that summarizes what's been published in the peer-reviewed scientific literature of how gluten sensitivity can impact various functions. And I'll show you some, some, some images and some diagrams of these in a second here. But for example, gluten sensitivity has been shown to, let's just start here, impact cognitive impairment. So cognitive impairment would be the ability to focus, concentrate, recall, just to think. And, and the most common thing we see is, is brain fog. There's definitely gluten sensitivity associated with all the major psychiatric disorders that are out there, um, including bipolar disorder, anxiety, and then there are more serious neurological diseases like multiple systems atrophy, which is like a very severe form of uh, uh, Parkinsonian disease where people get stiffness and rigidity, restless leg syndrome, uh, neurological autoimmune diseases, he unknown and early hearing loss has been shown with gluten sensitivity. Um, dementia uh, has been shown with uh, gluten sensitivity. Neuropathy, meaning like hands and feet burning type symptoms have been associated with gluten sensitivity. And the problem we have is that you know, the average neurologist doesn't really look at these mechanisms, doesn't do any kind of gastrointestinal or food protein sensitivity testing, doesn't evaluate for celiac disease. They kind of leave that to the gastroenterologist. And then the gastroenterologist is just, you know, as you noticed, two thirds of people in the research shows don't have, they don't have any GI complaints. 